IIS is an online immunization information system that can record child immunizations and manage vaccine stock. In 2011, the Albanian Institute of Public Health deployed IIS in the northern Albanian district of Škoda. The new system was intended to provide the following benefits. 1. Enable unvaccinated children to be found. 2. Improve stock management. 3. Reduce paperwork. This video shows how IIS works and how it has affected health workers. It asks three key questions about the new system. 1. Why was it needed? 2. How does it work? 3. What was the impact? This is Muzayan. She works in a health centre in Partizani, an area of Škoda town. Before IIS, health centre nurses like Muzayan spent many hours planning their immunisation sessions. Each month, Muzayan made a list of children due to be vaccinated by going through her paper-based immunisation registries, one row at a time. Using her list, Muzayan then scheduled the vaccination appointments, notified the parents and calculated how much vaccine to order. She had no easy way to keep track of children who moved out of her district or were vaccinated elsewhere. Each time she vaccinated a child, Muzayan was required to record the vaccination in up to seven different paper forms and registers. This paperwork reduced the time she could give to her patients. At the end of each month, Muzayan compiled a monthly vaccination report by counting the vaccinations she administered. She sent the report to the district manager. Despite her hard work, some errors were inevitable. Arben, the district head of vaccinators, collected the monthly reports from nurses, added them up and then estimated vaccine coverage for the district. Each quarter he submitted his report to the National Immunisation Manager. Arida, the National Immunisation Manager, collected aggregated coverage estimates from each district. The data shows how coverage differs slightly between districts and gives a sense of overall performance. But it doesn't provide insight on how to improve coverage or reduce wastage. Let's take a look at how nurses are using IIS. Here's Mazayan, the health centre nurse we met previously. She has just vaccinated a baby girl at her health centre and needs to register the vaccination. She opens her web browser and logs into IIS. She searches for the mother of the baby girl. The child has not yet been registered in IIS, so Mazayan will need to create a record for her. Once registered, the child's immunisation schedule is automatically generated. According to the schedule, the child is due for BCG and hepatitis B vaccination. Mazayan can now record the vaccination she has administered indicating the lot number and date of vaccination. Each month, nurses like Muzayan, who have access to a computer, use IIS to generate the monthly plan for their health centre. The plan lists all vaccinations scheduled for that month. The plan also calculates the total number of vaccines required. This helps nurses determine the exact quantities to order from the district manager. Each month, Arben, the district manager, provides health centre vaccinators with the vaccines required by their commune health centre. He also gives them a printout of the monthly plans for the villages in their commune. At each health centre, the vaccinator provides village health post nurses with the vaccines they need, together with the printout of their monthly plan. Nurses can use the printout to record the details of children they vaccinate and then return this to the commune health centre where it can be entered into IIS. Because the vaccination status of every child is tracked in this way, nurses and managers like Arida can use IIS to view detailed information on vaccine coverage. Here we can see vaccine coverage data for the district of Škoda. Any unvaccinated children can be quickly identified. Here we see the children who have not received their BCG vaccination. Community health workers can then use this information to locate the unvaccinated children. IIS also keeps track of vaccine stock levels. 
Supervisors like Arban can monitor stock balances and wastage, and so manage stock more effectively. This report shows stock levels at health centres in Arban's district. Parents also benefit. Using their national ID number, they can log in to IIS and download their child's immunisation certificate, required for school enrolment. In case of an adverse event, staff can locate vaccine stock from any given lot, as well as the children vaccinated with that lot. By improving the quality and availability of immunisation data, IIS has produced several important benefits. Increased ability to find unvaccinated children. More timely vaccination, in other words fewer children vaccinated more than one month late. Better understanding of why some children remain unimmunised. Improved vaccine stock management. Improved ability to respond to adverse events. Reduced paperwork. Thank you.